Three times a year, Josephine B. Clark packs up a big box, fills it to the brim with goodies for her family back in the Philippines. All the money that I am earning here is being sent home because I have the two grandkids still in school. 71-year-old Baclar came to the U.S. in 2010, finding work as an in-home caregiver. But after she broke her shoulder in a client's home, she's been forced to slow down, working only two days a week. She also spends time at the Filipino Worker Center, or PWC, a place she connected with in 2015 after learning her employer was stealing her wages. I was only being paid 110 for 24 hours work. And uh, I was with my patient for three years. Earning about $4.50 an hour, Biklar says she worked for a home care agency 24 hours a day, cooking, cleaning, bathing clients, sometimes enduring physical abuse. State law dictates a minimum wage for the first nine hours with overtime afterward. But Biklar says she was told to only log eight hours a day. I don't know what is, uh, what is our right. But uh, me, I am only thinking that I am good because I have worked when I came in. With the help of PwC and LA City officials, Biklar and her co-workers filed a lawsuit against the agency and won a settlement. But not every victim of wage theft sees justice. A new study by the Los Angeles Worker Center Network shows LA as the wage theft capital of the U.S., with workers across the county losing 26 to $28 million every week and 88% of low-wage workers experiencing wage theft. PwC Executive Director Akalina Soriano Verzosa says immigrant workers and people of color are the most vulnerable who don't know they have rights. It can be very scary to think about addressing wage theft because, you know, it's your, it's your livelihood. Um, but it's really important that um, workers know that they have rights no matter their immigration status, that they should be paid fairly at the least minimum wage with overtime. She says it takes a multi-prong approach. The LA City Council recently passed a package of motions addressing wage theft, helping bolster enforcement. The LA County DA's office also created a new labor justice unit focusing exclusively on wage theft. Bikar is also helping to educate workers about their rights, urging them to speak up against violations. And I want to learn more so that I can extend help to other people who also need help. And shed light on a pervasive problem.